Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. I'm doing a real quick video right now. A few of my loyal subscribers have been posting in a video. Looks like that the RX 580 is going to have some interesting memory speeds. Looks like 2025 megahertz effective frequency will be 8100 megahertz. It's 2025 times 4. Pretty impressive. These guys, there's two guys. I don't want to mention your names unless you want me to mention them. Uh, I'll do that in the next video. But these two guys have been pretty much talking to each other back and forth and updating my video, essentially, or the comments below and keeping pretty much everybody informed. I want to thank you for that. Thank you very much. But I do want to bring up that on videocards.com, with a Z, by the way, uh, they found a 570, RX 570 on eBay. I'm going to uh, show a picture of it here now. Uh, it's quite impressive. Uh, RX 570 is, a, is for sale for $379 on eBay. You can get it. It's only 4 gig though. So, I mean, uh, looks like the 570 may be 4 gig only, but in some variances, they may be doing 8 gig. I saw one card that was 8 gig, but everybody else pretty much stayed with the 4 gig card. To be honest with you, if you're not a high resolution gamer and you only game at 1080p, then 4 gig is perfect for you. If you plan on going a little bit further and beyond 1440p, you might want to stick with the 8 gig card because you want to put a lot of eye candy in. These cards seem to have some uh, promise. I know in the past I've actually said some negative things, not really negative, but confused, I should say. But based on what's coming down the pike right now, um, I'm impressed. I'm happy for AMD because it's really about time that they actually shine. So I'm really happy. And I want to thank those two guys uh, that are on my site uh, that's making me actually do this video tonight. Tonight, It's on my son's birthday. And... Uh, and I wanted to jump out and just uh, take care of this real quick, but I just can't believe it's expensive. $379 for a RX 570 on eBay. I think it's very possible that this guy may have um, did a review on it. Saying it's new would be unethical because I'm sure this gentleman, I don't even know who he is, but I'm not going to divulge his name on, 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 on this video. But he has a 4 gig for 379, 570, RX 570. If you really want it that bad and you want to be the first one to have an RX 570, then, uh, then go for it. But that's way beyond MSRP, that's for sure. I'm figuring the 570 would be 199, 249, maybe. And maybe the 580 um, being like that price, maybe. Or 349 for 8 gig and 299 for the 4 gig. I'm, I'm speculating. I'm guessing. I have no idea. But based on what we've seen in the past, you know, it's a debuting card, so it's going to be a little bit more money than the RX 480, which makes sense. But it should be somewhere in the neighborhood because they're going to outsell their own stuff if they don't. Because some people may want the RX 480, 470 line uh, cards, and they don't want to go for the 570, 580 because it's too expensive and it'll drop the prices of the other ones, which makes sense. But uh, I'm impressed. The RX uh, 570 is available right now <laughs> because it's not supposed to be available until the 18th. And it's available on the 14th. So I will, I'm not going to provide a link to eBay, but I will provide a picture of it. And you guys can do your own searching and find that information out. But I did get the information from videocards.com. And you could... Uh, just go to that website and you'll find it. So, anyway, that's really all I want to say. Uh, they, I, I just wanted to because this just came out like two hours ago. So, and I saw the eBay ad. So, it's not fake. It's really there. I do want to say that I I have a partner. He's uh, actually in Canada. His name is Bob, but he goes by Damn It Technologies. And uh, for those ATI people who are familiar with that, they know what DAMMIT stands for. 
I'm not going to go into it. I asked him to join. He said yes. So I'm, I wanted to uh, thank Bob for, for joining in on the uh, Joe Tech Tips team. I did throw out another invite to another gentleman. So if you wanted to join in with us, you're more than welcome. Give me a direct message and uh, let's communicate. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I want to thank all of my loyal subscribers who've been sticking with me thus far. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.